options. not working. What's up Machine Freaks? I hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh. As you guys can probably tell, I'm in Chris's shop. Chris is nowhere to be found. I think he said something about a Duramax? He's gonna work on a Duramax? I don't think he's working on mine. Maybe later. As you guys remember, I actually used Chris's shop and his tools to break, I mean, put three of my tires on rims for the Kodiak. That rim shop! And I told him, you know, one hand washes the other, I'll come out and help you whenever you need help. So he's gonna work on a Duramax. So obviously this isn't my truck. But he's gonna work on that, and in return, I'm gonna work on this for him for a little bit. I know it sounds familiar. Chris, I'm sure my fans are gonna be all offended because I'm not working on the Kodiak, I'm working on the, uh, what is this called, a prairie dog or something? <laughs> It's a Kawasaki, it's not a Yamaha. But anyways, it's a 650, it's a V-twin. It's got like some sort of really bad knock, like extremely bad. What's the mission here? Fix it. We gotta fix it? Fix it. <laughs> so we're just tearing it down to, to nothing? And then going from there. We wanna see what the... Yeah, let, let's show the viewers. Ah, yeah! That's so bad. That's so bad. You know what, Chris? Maybe since it's a Kawasaki, it's got so much power. That's just what it sounds like until it warms up. It's a diesel. It's a, oh, that's what it is. It's a diesel. Sounds like it. Chris, as of right now, do you want to be in the Duramax life? No. <laughs> Maybe if you worked on mine, you'd be persuaded a little bit more. Nope. Mine's rust free. Nope. <laughs> a Duramax life is an expensive life. Hey, I noticed you got the gloves on. Yeah. Those yeah. are fancy. Chris and I are headed to go get subs. <laughs> yeah. That's a fail right there. That's what? A fail. What are you talking about? That's a fail video. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. We're getting food. It's lunchtime. It's 12.30 in the afternoon. I've got pretty far on the Prairie Dog, considering how much of a pain it is. I'm not a fan of the Kawasaki four-wheelers, especially the V-Twins. Yeah, they're not fun. No, not at all. That's why he told me to come over and check it out, maybe. Well, I'm working on a Duramax, you wanna switch? <laughs> I mean, you like that Duramax life. <laughs> Water pumps on a Duramax kinda suck. But I'm, I'm excited about the food, though. Chris just ran inside real quick to get the subs. I remember as a kid, like, really, really young, always going through this alleyway to get to that Burger King, and as you can see, there's a for sale sign on it. It closed down right before I got into high school and before I got my license. I think that's a good thing, because otherwise, I would probably weigh 200 to 300 pounds. I love Burger King. Anybody else like Burger King? I think I asked this just about every video. I like Burger King. I can't help but notice that you're uh, subless. Got the food. We just got done eating lunch. It was delicious. Thank you for lunch, Chris. No problem. Time to go back to work. As you guys can see, I have part of the head apart. Got all the parts under here. Luckily enough, the cylinder walls on this cylinder look good. Like you guys heard, that knock is just super, super bad. So we're gonna have to eventually pull up the whole engine. I just was trying to let some stuff soak in PB Blaster so I could then take it off. Because these nuts and bolts back here, they never wanna come off without lubrication. But I gotta get home and make a video for you guys. So I gotta leave Chris alone. Chris, good luck with the D-Max. Yeah. 
it's it's I'll a it. it's a rough life, but <laughs> some sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not so nice. Usually when the wheels are off the ground, it's always bad. But uh, we'll see you later, Chris. See you. Take care. I was thinking about having Chris look at my radio, but he was busy on that Duramax. We'll figure it out. I always do. So if you have any tips to fix a radio on a 2005 Chevy 2500 HD, let me know. A couple people have tried. Their techniques have not worked. Doesn't mean your technique won't work. That's right, fan mail time. I'd really like to get my radio going. Luckily enough, I live a YouTube life, which means a lot of the things I do, I can't listen to the radio, I can't listen to music while I work. Well, I can, but the camera has to be off. So it's not a big deal that I don't have a radio, but I think it'd be a little bit more pleasurable if I did fix it. Okay, I don't know how to respectfully fold up the flag, so I did my best. What do we got? Oh, Craftsman! 10 to 18 millimeter sockets. You guys know I love to turn a wrench, and you guys do know that I use a lot of Craftsman, so thank you. Who do I have to thank for this awesome care package? And if this air filter is for the Duramax, which I think it is, this is getting really exciting really quick. Dear Doll, my name is Kevin Nolan. I am 13 years old and I live in Howell, New Jersey. Thank you, Kevin. I had to go on Google and look up how to say your name. I appreciate the pronunciation by your name. I never went to school with anybody with your name, so you definitely have an original name. My favorite videos are when you, Seth, and Jake get together. I agree. He's not completely sure if this will fit the Duramax, but I will try. Please give my boy Andrew and a shout out. Keep up the savage work and keep it froggy fresh like always. Your boy, Gavin Nolan. Thank you very much. This package is slightly larger than the average package. Hi 3D to keep it froggy fresh from the D-Man. If this is what I think it is... I... <laughs> Holy sh... Literally. Mr. D-Man sent me 48 rolls of toilet paper. Does D stand for dump? Because I sure can take a lot of them. <laughs> Thank you, D-Man, for the original idea of sending me toilet paper. It will be used, trust me. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this extremely interesting 3D Machines production. Before I leave you for the day, I want to know your funniest number two reference, like number two reference or joke or riddle. Leave it in the comment section. I'm looking forward to smiling. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Yeah.